And hey everyone, this is Francisco from Mobile Trans. And over here, we like to focus on data transfers between different types of devices so that you can always keep your data no matter what you're using. Are you someone who just made the switch to iPhone or other iOS device and need all your WhatsApp messages from your Android device? Well, Mova, make sure to stick around for the entire video because today I will show you how to transfer your WhatsApp data from an Android phone to an iPhone. Let's begin. And so there are three main ways of making the transfer between devices and they're all very simple to follow. And in fact, only one of these methods involve using our mobile trans software in order to make the secure transfer. And you can just change the account settings on your device to allow the messages to be seen on different devices, or you can make the transfer via email. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through all three methods as we move forward. So first up is going to be method number one, and that is going to be your usual mobile trans method. And okay, so first, I'd like to show you the process while using mobile trend. You have to make sure that you're using either a Windows or Mac machine as these are desktop only applications. And you're gonna need these. Make sure that you download mobile trend for the, the correct operating system. And in this case, for me, it's going to be Windows. So I'm going to click on download for Windows and the download should begin automatically. Once that happens, just click on the executable. Now this window is going to pop up and once it does, all you have to do is click on install and you pretty much just have to wait it out. Okay, once the download is done, all you have to do is click on start now and then it should take you all the way up to this page here. And then once you're over here, you're going to go ahead and click on transfer WhatsApp messages. And you're just going to make sure that both of your devices are going to be connected. So in this case, I have my Google Pixel 4 on this side and I have my iPhone over on this side. And since I'm trying to transfer all of my WhatsApp data from my Pixel 4 over to my iPhone, I'm going to keep this configuration exactly the same. However, if I were to want to do it the other way around, I would just click on flip. And in this case, I would be transferring my my WhatsApp data from my iPhone over to my new Android phone. However, since in this case, we're doing it the other way around, we're going to go ahead and then flip it back over so that the source is the Pixel 4 and so that the destination is the iPhone. And in that case, we're gonna go ahead and click on start and then we're going to click on yes. This is going to just make sure that we transfer everything over successfully, even if it takes a little bit longer. So it's going to take a couple of steps over on this side. However, the transfer should take, but only just a few more minutes or so. So we're gonna go ahead and wait it out. And all right, since now all this is finished, your iPhone is just going to naturally restart itself. You can go ahead into your WhatsApp and you should be able to see on your new iPhone all of, all of your messages from your Android a device, which means that everything has been transferred successfully. And once you're done, all you have to do is click on OK. And this has been method number one. And now method number two, it's just going to be transfer your WhatsApp messages via changing account features. And so with this method, you will need your SIM injection tool because uh, this mostly applies to swap from one device to another in general. And then just remove the old SIM from your smartphone and insert the new one. And then go ahead and launch WhatsApp, go to settings, account, and then change number. And a new code would be sent to your current phone number and then you just type in that number. And once you followed all of these steps, all of your information will be transferred over. And if you want to use this on a different device, then just remove the new SIM from the old phone and install it onto the iPhone, for example. But you would first have to make a backup of the WhatsApp stuff before anything. So do make sure to keep that into consideration as well. Method number three is just going to be to transfer all of your WhatsApp data from Android to iPhone via email. And this next method is a bit interesting in that it's not really a full transfer, but it's more of a workaround, mostly used for saving specific conversations. And the first thing that you have to do is to launch WhatsApp and open any conversation you want to save and tap on the more option and choose email conversion. And then you can decide if you want to include any of the media within this conversation, but for the purposes of, of this video, I will click on no. 
and then this should immediately launch your Gmail app for you with that attached conversation. And then you can either email it to yourself or just save it as a draft. Then you can just go on your new iPhone and open up the Gmail app there to find your drafted or received text files. You will always be able to access it, but you can't view these on WhatsApp on this device anymore. You can only view this conversation as a text file if you choose to go for this method. And so that's pretty much it. These have been three different methods of transferring your WhatsApp data from an Android device to an iPhone. And with that said, if you found this video helpful, then do make sure to subscribe and leave a like, and then do make sure to also share all of your thoughts in the comment section with any kind of questions or maybe any kind of comments on this video. And with that said, this has been Francisco from Mobile Trans signing out. Have a good one.